Then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth. In this service, anything called badness will never be found around your life. Badness means bad from fruitfulness. Bad from fruitfulness. To be fruitful means to be full of fruits. When a tree has fruits, to be fruitful means to have something to show. So when a tree has fruits, if it's a mango tree, you pluck mango fruits to eat. But every time you don't have anything to show for existence, now barrenness be that. You work for 20 years, 30 years, no house to show, barrenness. You are at the point of marriage, 30, 35, no marriage, barrenness. But in this service, you will escape every trap of barrenness in your family. Anything called barrenness after today's service will never be traceable in your family again. It takes remembrance to be free from barrenness. First Samuel 119. Elkanah, and they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house at Ramah. Elkanah knew his wife and the Lord remembered her. Anytime you are remembered, you are numbered for a blessing. What did I say? When God remembers you, you are numbered for instant blessing. And I give you another scripture. Genesis 30, 22. And God remembered Rachel and hearkened to her. Her mouth was no longer smelling and opened her womb. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Maliando shekatalaba shekatalaba. Now, this is what, let me show you what remembrance means. Remembrance means when you get to the table of God in heaven, it is your own document that is next to be treated. That's remembrance. That means you are next online to be assigned. Now lift up your two hands, heaven. This week, the God of Oyedeko will remember you. The God of Oyedeko will number you for triplets. Joel chapter 2 verse 25. And God thank you, will restore to you the years that locusts has eaten. The palmer worm, the canker worm, the caterpillars, the palmer worm, my great which has spent among you. One of our spiritual sons in the Lord in Abuja waited for the fruit of the womb for four, 10 years. At the 10th year, God gave them four boys at once. Man will restore a thing, but God will restore years. I will restore the years. Lift up your two hands. Everywhere you have been mesmerized, everywhere you have been mocked, this week, the God that restores years will restore you. Everyone believing God for miracle children, you are confirmed with multiple children now. Be full of children. Be full of children. Either you are here or standing for anyone wherever you are. No more delay. Your womb start winning. Your womb shackling your children. 
No matter the reason, be pregnant. No matter who say you will not get pregnant, be pregnant. The God of Oyedeko pregnant you right now. You are fruitful. You are confirmed pregnant. You are confirmed pregnant. You are confirmed pregnant. You are confirmed pregnant. Now, 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 now. No more delay. No more disappointment. Every medical challenge resolved. Every immunological challenge is resolved. Every spermatozoa challenge is healed. Every deficiency is cured. Whatever immunological status that is causing challenge is resolved right now. And everyone called pregnant, you will deliver safely. That pregnancy shall be saved. It shall be sound. It shall be smooth. It shall be supernatural. That pregnancy will experience seven S. The first S, it shall be saved. Second S, it shall be smooth. Third S, it shall be secured. Fourth S, it shall be supernatural. Fifth S, it shall be sorrow free. No pregnant woman shall die. No pregnant woman shall die. Every challenge of pregnancy resolved. Lift up your voice and shout a loud amen. amen. The six S at the time of delivery, it shall be smooth. At the time of delivery, it shall be swift. The God of Oyedeko will keep you free. And if there be any altar that has sat upon your fruitfulness, if there be any serpent, if there be any dream that is manipulating your pregnancy, that dream is destroyed. If there be any finger tampering with your body, the finger is withered. If there be any serpent eating your children, if there be any witch eating your children, they are dead now. And the whole church shout, there is no body woman in this church. Declare every woman called body and be pregnant. Lift up your voice and shout a loud amen. Make sure that everyone you know that believe God for a child, make sure they are here next Sunday, second service. Make sure they are here next Sunday, second service. If God be God, there will be no one called barren around this sanctuary again. In Jesus' precious name. Unveiling the wonders in the world. And our prophetic focus, God's word still works wonders today. The word of God is the factory of wonders. Take this rod with which you will work miracles. If you find a man that have access to God's word, you have found an individual that will produce wonders at will. God's word has capacity and the authority to produce wonders. Look at the wonders of creation at the beginning. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning. 
God created the heaven and the earth. Now look at the status of the beginning before God's word started coming. And the earth was without form, no shape, and void, empty. Darkness was upon the face of the earth. There was no perspective. Everything had no order. But the spirit of God was upon the face of the earth. There were two things that were operational. Number one, the spirit of God. And then verse three. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So the first wonder in God's word is the creative wonder. As I'm speaking to you now, God will create what is not existing in your life that is good. Even if it's not available, God's word can create it. Let there be light and light be. That is a wonder in God's word. God's word has capacity to bring to pass what does not exist. So even if your miracle is not available, God can create one now in this service. Creative wonders. There is nothing now. There is nothing that God says that will not happen. Lift up your two hands to heaven. I therefore decree, as this service goes on. Now, look at somebody didn't have, he had financial dryness. And then the prophecy went forth for every day a lot. And it started having every day a lot till date. As I'm speaking to you now, this word I'm speaking have, is entering your body, is entering the atmosphere. The angels are taking it. Now, check this. Why will you speak in Nigeria and somebody in London will hear it? What can travel? What can travel? The, 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 as light travels, sound travels almost at the same speed. As I'm speaking to you now, whoever, wherever your hanging shilo balance is, it will drop. <laughs> Lift up your two hands, therefore I decree, wherever, however, whoever is holding your hanging blessing, Within seven seconds, seven minutes, seven hours, it drops in your hand. Amen. Lift up your voice and shout a loud amen. amen. Now, turn that to a testimony in prayer. Say, Father, wherever my hanging blessing, Shiloh 2021 blessings are hanging, my turnaround blessing, I command them to be released right now. It's my day of remembrance. Lift your voice and prophesy and pray. They are dropping right now. They must drop right now. They must drop right now. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up your two hands, heaven. Every of your Shiloh 2021 blessing that has not entered your hand, I release and command the angels of harvest to drop it in your life. Amen. Therefore, this week shall be your week of wonder harvest. Amen. This week shall be your week of wonder harvest. Turn around harvest. In Jesus' precious name. Unveiling the wonders in the world. Number one, it is creative. Number two, it is prophetic. Luke 1.45 
And blessed is she that believe. For there is, shall be a performance of those things which were told her of the Lord. Anything God intends is released by his word. And the word has capacity to exist. So inside that word, prophetic means existable. 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 Available. Possible. So when I said lift up your hands and be promoted, pro that word must bring promotion. And if promotion does not come, that word will be roaming around until you are promoted. That is what it is. Creative, prophetic. Number three, it is conclusive. God's word has ability to be fulfilled. Isaiah 55, 10 to 11, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth that thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, bread to the eater. Now verse 11 together, let's go. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. Number four, God's word is authentic. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. Number five, God's word is Transformative. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove that which is, that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Therefore, note. Walk in the light of the world that transformed. Isaiah 61 to 3 and 22. What is the world that transformed? The world that you understand. Proverbs 13, 15. The world that you understand. The world that you understand. Proverbs 15, 13, 15, good understanding, give it favor. 15, 13, check 15, 13. God's word has capacity to grant you understanding. That is why I said I will give you pastors after my heart. That will give you wisdom on understanding. Every time you walk in understanding, you will enjoy the wonder in the world. Therefore, how do I tap? In the wonders and the world, number one. Don't assess God's word carelessly. Approach the word of God with a humble heart. So you can get the milk, you can get the revelation of the word. Every time you approach the word of God as a master, you will lose the wonder in the word. The word of God becomes wondrous.
to those who's approach you with the simpleness of a meek heart. The meek will he guide. The meek will he lead. The meek will he guide. The meek will he direct. Number two, how do I assess the wonder in the world? Be committed to a lifestyle of prayer and fasting. To assess the outbreak of revelation or light. Isaiah 58, 6 to 8. Is it not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bounds of wickedness? Then in verse 8. Then shall the light break forth as the morning. Then you have wonder health. Your health will spring forth speedily. You have wonder reward. Every time you approach the word of God fasting, the wonder in the world flows out. With wonder revelation, wonder revolution, wonder health, wonder breakthrough. Number three, how do you get the best from God's word? Be responsive. Live a life of obedience. Job 36 verse 11. If they obey and serve him. They will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Every time God speaks to you and you don't respond, he stops speaking to you. Many of us used to hear God, but suddenly we don't hear him anymore. Because all the things he told us, there's none that you have done. So he, he has moved his headquarters to somewhere else. He has moved his territory somewhere else. He has moved it to the person that will hear him. Lift up your hands to heaven. After today's service, you will be responsive to the leading of the Lord. Amen. Make that amen a very loud one. Amen. In this covenant day of escape, you will escape the trap of pride. Amen. You will escape the, tra the, the, the trap of disobedience. Amen. What is escape? E. Exemption. What is escape? Yes. Sudden break away from danger. That daughter of Zion had an accident. Vehicles were assaulted in the ditch in the bush, but she escaped death. She was exempted. The vehicle was exempted from catching fire with petrol all over the vehicle. I asked her a simple question. How did you come out? She said she crawled out. Crawl out. That's not crawl out. That escape out. How do you crawl out of a heavy duty lady out of a crashed accident? The doors were not open. Crawl out of where? It's God that brought her out. Lift up your two hands to heaven. From today, you will escape every trap of death. What is escape? To be completely free. To abscond from temptation. To be prison free. When there is no longer any trace of oppression around your life. To escape E is to be evil free. In this service, you have entered your season of escape. What will you escape from, number one? You will escape the dangers around your life. Number two, you will escape the monitoring camera of the devil. Lift up your two hands. Every monitoring camera, be it human cameras, 
animate or inanimate camera. Every force of hell monitoring your life from here and there. I command those monitoring instruments destroy. Yeah. You will escape the flood of the devil. Yeah. Isaiah 59 verse 19. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. The enemy does not attack you in one way. He attacks in multiple ways. Number one, lack of school fees. Number two, oppression from the village. Number three, crisis at the place of work. When Satan wants to attack, attack at once. Number four, one person at the same time, his car can break down. So the Bible says, when the enemy shall come like a floor. The spirit of God will raise out against them. Lift up your two hands. After this communion, you will escape the flood of the devil. Yeah. What will you escape? John, shout it louder. What else, what else again will you escape? John 10.10. 10. The thief cometh but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I have come to give life and you have life more abundantly. The next thing you will escape is the ministry of the devil. What will you escape? Shout it louder. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, Father my right hand is sanctified. It become an extension of your hand. Stamp it on your forehead and pray this prayer. Father, Father from today, I escape the ministry of the devil to kill, to steal, and destroy. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. If you are escaping, declare it very loud. I escape! Pray from the depth of your heart. Today, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 2021, I escape the ministry of the devil to kill, to steal, and destroy. I escape, I escape, I escape. Lift up your voice, lift up your hands, cry to the Lord. I escape today the ministry of the devil to kill, to steal, and destroy. Now decree, my forehead is stronger than the forehead of my enemies. Lift up your voice and pray. My forehead is stronger than the forehead of my enemies. My forehead, my forehead is stronger than the forehead of my enemies my forehead my forehead my forehead my forehead pray from the depth of your heart Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 8. Your forehead shall be stronger than the forehead of your enemies. You will no longer become a victim. 
you will no longer become a victim. In the name of Jesus, put that right hand upon your forehead. From today, your forehead will be stronger than the forehead of your enemies. That amen is very low. In Jesus' precious name. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. How do I enjoy sustainable escape? Number one. Always come before the Lord crying for mercy and supernatural intervention. Approach the throne of God daily. Luke 18, 1. Men ought always to pray and not faint. Wake up in the morning, raise an altar of prayer. Every altar of prayer in your home is an altar of escape. Make your home a Jesus embassy by putting a home cell in your house. One winner, one cell. Not only will your house prosper, as in the case of Obedidon, evil cannot enter the place. A man just decided to agree to put his house as a home cell, and that week, a 14-wheeler trailer missed road and was going towards his house. As soon as the trailer got to the front of the banner, the vehicle stopped. You can't kill God. You can't run over God. The vehicle stopped. He escaped it. Another woman has a banner of WSF in front of her shop. In Ikuda, the other one is in Abuja. This one is in Ikorudu, Lagos. And this vehicle lost control in the market and was clearing everything. As soon as he get to the, house, to the shop of this woman that has the blessed banner where they do Saturday home sale, he stopped. You can't run into where the banner of the Lord is. You don't know what you are losing if your house is not a cell center. Number two, keep feeding on the word of God. Make it your daily meal, spiritual meal. So when the enemy try to take you, you are too heavy for him. You must stay in love connection with God. John chapter 4, 16 to 18. In verse 21, the Bible said, He that hath my commandment and keepeth them, he is he that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be love of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. You can't kill a God lover. And the most important thing, John 1, 12. As many as receive him, he gave power to become sons of God. Even to them that believe in his name. Hebrews 2, 3. How shall we escape if we neglect this great salvation? If you neglect the salvation that God gives you, how are you going to take escape? If you are not born again, you are a chief prey to the devil. If you got born again and you took your life back from Christ, you have exposed yourself to danger. Therefore, help me hold your neighbor's hand left and right. I say, my neighbor, you hear me so? Stay connected. Rise on your feet. Stay connected with Jesus. 
Stay connected with Jesus. Lift up your two hands and drink into a new lease of life in Christ. Quickly, lift up your two hands to heaven. Stay connected. Lift up your hand. I remain connected to you, Jesus. I remain connected to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Put your right hand upon your chest. Everybody bow your head. Let's begin first with those who have not born again. Or those who have backslidden. Say, Father, thank you. Forgive me. All my sins. Thank you for your word. I receive you into my life as my Lord and Savior. Save me completely. Translate me from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of your dear son. In Jesus' precious name. Now, secondly, those who want to rededicate their life to Christ, keep your hand in your chest and say, Father, I return to you today. Restore me all the years I've lost. Give me a permanent escape from the hand of the enemy. In Jesus' precious name. Now, everybody put your hand in your chest. Say, Father, from today, I belong to you. Therefore, 1 John 3, 8, for this reason, the Son of God was made manifest to destroy the work of Satan. Every work of Satan in around my life is hereby destroyed. I'm free. I'm free at last. Wave your hands to him and magnify him in Jesus' precious name. Now listen to me. Today, you gave your life to Christ or you want to rededicate your life to Christ after that prayer. Take your Bible, take your bag, and come forward. Communion stewards, fast. How many want to celebrate their escape? Now, shake your legs. Say, from today, every chain on this feet is off. The chains are broken. I'm a new person. I'm free. I'm free at last. your voice and shout, I'm free at last. In Jesus' precious name. The communion table is a table of escape. By the Passover blood, the power of God was released upon the Israelites and were free from Egypt after 430 years. Exodus chapter 12. Was 12 to 13. After 430 years. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And we smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against the God of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Every time God wants to deliver his people, he executes judgment on the other side. Verse 13 together, everybody. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Now, not just any kind of blood, the blood that he prescribed. And the blood that God has prescribed for us today is the blood of Christ. Jesus said it is finished. So when he sees his blood, anything called affliction is finished. Why is blood of sprinkling so strong? The life of every creature is in the blood. So when I sprinkle the blood of Jesus on you, Heaven sees Christ on you. Evil cannot come. Satan sees Christ on you. He can't near. So the blood of Jesus is no near. What do I call him? No near. Evil proof. Bullet proof. Satan proof. Your enemy proof. Lift up your two hands to heaven. After this communion, every poison in your system is sterilized. Lift up your two hands to heaven. John 10, 10. After this communion, you escape the ministry of the devil to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I, 
decree, Satan will find nothing to steal in your life. Satan will find nothing to destroy in your life. Satan will find nothing to destroy, nothing to kill, nothing to steal, nothing to destroy, nothing to kill, nothing to steal, nothing to destroy, nothing to kill, nothing to steal, nothing to destroy. Look at your neighbor and say, nothing to kill, nothing to steal, nothing to destroy. Say it to yourself, prophesy it on yourself. As I take the blood and the body of Jesus, nothing to kill, nothing to steal, nothing to destroy in my life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. John 1, 16 out of John 1, 16 out of his fullness have we received. Grace for grace. After today, Satan will find nothing to steal. He will find nothing to kill and nothing to destroy in your life. From the pastorate, no evil. To the elders, no evil. Deacons, no evil. Workers, no evil. Worshippers, no evil. This environment is a no evil environment. In Jesus' precious name, when you are coming on Wednesday, Bring anything that be converted to blood of Jesus. And as we bless you, you sprinkle your territory and say, Satan, no parking. What's in the call? Wednesday service is called AKA Satan, no parking. So make sure you don't miss it in Jesus' precious name. This is the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Eat and live. No parking.